Now, next topic which is discussed here is zero of a polynomial. Now, one of the cases which are discussed here is the polynomial which is given to us is x square minus 3x minus 4. Now, if we put x is equal to 2 in the polynomial, so what we will get? So, let's check, okay. So, instead of x, we are going to put 2. So, 2 square minus 3 as it is, instead of x, we are going to put 2 and minus 4, okay. So, 2 to the 4, 3 to the 6 and minus 4. So, plus 4 and minus 4 are cancelled. So, minus 6 is the value. Second case which is discussed is, if you put x is equal to 0, if you put x is equal to 0, so instead of x, we are going to write 0. So, 0 square, here x square is there. Instead of x, we are going to put 0. So, x, 0 square minus 3x is there. So, we are again going to put 0 here instead of x and minus 4 as it is because it is constant term. So, 0 square is 0, 3 into 0 is 0 and minus 4. So, answer is minus 4. So, for x is equal to 2, we are getting minus 6 as the answer. For x is equal to 0, we are getting minus 4 as the answer. Now, what is discussed in the theory? Suppose k is any real number. For x is equal to k, if you put k instead of x, so we can say that value of p of x at k will be p of k. Value of p of x at k, okay, value of p of x at k, or you can say x is equal to k. If you put k instead of x, then the value of p of x will become p of k, okay. Now, after this theory, they are discussing about if you put x is equal to minus 1 in the same equation, okay, or you can say same polynomial. So, p of minus 1, x square minus 3x minus 4, so instead of x we are putting minus 1, x square minus 3x minus 3x minus 4. So, minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1, minus minus plus 3 and minus 4. So, plus 3 and 1 plus 4, 4 minus 4. So, we are getting 0 as the answer. Now, we have to find the value of the polynomial 4, x is equal to 4. So, let's see p of 4 is equal to 4 square x square minus 3x minus 4. So, 4 4 are 16, 3 4 are 12 and minus 4. So, minus 4, 12 and minus 4, that is minus 16. 16 minus 16, we are getting 0 as the answer. So, we are getting the value of polynomial 0 for the value of x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 4. So, we can say that minus 1, x is equal to minus 1 and 4 are the zeros of the polynomial, are the zeros of the polynomial. And here, minus 1 and 4 are k, okay? k is any real number. So, minus 1 and 4 are the real numbers. So, that's why we can say p of k, or you can say p of minus 1 and p of 4. For the value of minus 1 and 4, the polynomial will be 0. That's why we can say that the zeros of the polynomial are minus 1 and 4. For the given example, for every other example, it will be p of k, okay? So, that we have to obtain. So, the, here, the zeros of the polynomial theory is over. Thank you.